gosh. You're struggling, I see. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm a little bit nervous, but Devin is going to teach me how to drift my car today. Last winter, if you guys follow Devin's channel, I want to say you taught me how to drift the Forester. Did I? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, he taught me how to drift the Forester, which was super easy just because it was a Forester. This thing's gonna be easier. You have like eight times the horsepower. You slide this bitch all around the town. Is it starting to rain? Well, we're going up to the mountain anyway. Yeah, we're surrounded by mountains here in Washington, so we're gonna go up to Mount Spokane and find a good place to, to teach me how to drift. This might take a, an hour or so. Let's rip it. Okay, let's Co go. Okay. Coffee first. You think you're pretty fast, eh? It could be faster. Maybe if you revved it out higher, it'd be faster. I don't, that always freaks me out. I always feel like I'm gonna blow up the motor. You can easily, safely rev this thing to seven, like 78 and you'll be what? all right. What? Dog, my Evo goes to 88. No. But you have stock valve train. I don't know what that means. Stock valve springs and stock cams. No. Send it to the moon. There we go, second gear. No! Hey, Evo. Uh. If it's rev it out. Oh shit, you're gonna pull over. Don't, even when I know you're joking. You see how scared I still get really scared. Pretty good. Give me it notes. wasn't even that. Like, I feel like if my car is faster, I can shift a lot faster. <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing? No. <laughs> oh. Don't spill. Back to the coffee stand. Should I give him a pro tip? Should I just be like. Pro tip 101. If you drive a fast car and you're going drifting, get some stops. Should I just hold the coffee up and be like, ew, this is nasty? <laughs> Do you know her? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get two stoppers, please? Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate the straw, but I don't like it. It gets in my mouth and gets stuck. What do you see? This is scary. This is why snow is no bueno. There's a huge wreck up here, though. Sleds. There's like four sleds I got toasted. That's sad. So we're running to a slight issue. Oh, <sighs> uh, this is no issue. All the parking lots that we came up to, up here to drift on are all full. So the world is my playground. What can I say? So Devin's driving. Because Bobby got scared. I didn't get scared. I just don't like driving in the snow. That's it. Wow. Oh. Don't fall. You want to explain what the frick is going on? Yeah, so we found the parking lot that we were supposed to drift in and it was full of cars. There was like a little open space, probably as big as this, honestly. And it just wasn't big enough for me. We got to find a, a new location. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a new location. Ow. Okay. We drove a little ways up north and we found a spot. So Devin's gonna teach me. Okay, first that. Okay. See that traction control button to the left of the steering wheel? Down yonder, yep, hold it down. The ASC. ASC off, hold that down until it blinks on the dash. There you go. Now traction control is off and you can sned hard. Okay. Okay, now if you want to see, roll down your window. Okay, now what? Uh, make sure you don't hit poles. There's no poles? Rev this bitch up and drop the damn clutch and rip. No, what, baby, I need more explanation. Seriously, roll down your window though. Oh, shit. I would go in that big open part right there. Put your seatbelt on, Haas. Okay, go a little faster. Now rub it up, drop the clutch. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. You don't need an e-brake. Let off the e-brake completely. 
<sighs> we're not in a rear wheel or a front wheel drive car. I don't know how. Just, you had it going. You were pulling the e-brake for some odd reason. Well, I see you do the e-brake. Yeah, but you can't be on the gas and the e-brake. It's all wheel drive. The whole time? The e-brake is if you- Because sometimes I see you go like this. If you're coming up on a on a pole right there and you're about to hit it, then you'll maybe pop the e-brake a little bit oh. to get the ass end to slide out. But you had it going. There you go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's a little more powder than I thought. All right, keep ripping that. You're doing just fine. You just learn how to control the car. See that? Little, okay, now rip it all the way down. There you go. Rip, rip, rip. You, it. <laughs> you gotta stay, stay in that. Good job. I'm getting really nervous. Can you go outside and show them? Yes. Make sure you don't hit no poles. Okay. There's not. Keep going. Keep going. Curb. Don't be scared, you have a huge parking lot. I want you to do a one full circle. Shred the gnar. Okay. A backwards donut, that'd be litty. You get a head start. What are you doing? Drop the clutch. There we go. Rip it, rip it, rip, 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 rip. Why do you keep stopping? Keep her going. You want me to show you what it's supposed to look like? Yeah. All right. It does want to go. You just, you, you can't let out, all right? It's really easy. Okay. Once you get confident, you'll shred the gnar. Okay. Does it smell like clutch? <laughs> See what you got, baby. There we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Full sned squad. Rip it. That's perfect. <laughs> there we go. Uh oh. You got something stuck in your brake. Was that fun? Is that what you wanted? Do you know how to, can you control it pretty good? Uh huh. Did you see me slide in? Uh huh. Can I try one more time? Yeah, and then if you want, you can try to slide one way and then come out of it and go the opposite way. This way. It's kind of hard to drift the other way if you get used to going one way. Is that fun? Yes. You want to keep shredding? Come in now. Probably only want me to drive in case we get caught and I'm the one who gets Ooh. in trouble. Huh? <laughs> that was that was fun. Thanks. Shred it. Good job. You sprayed the shit out of me! Let it again. Mm. 
How many pounds of clutch did you burn just now? So much. I thought you can do it. All right, are you done sledding? Yeah. Okay, you guys, it's a few hours later and I am so happy Devin taught me how to drift. I was actually really nervous just because, like I said in the beginning of the video, I've only learned in like a slower car. I used to own a Forester. It was, it was a pretty old one. It wasn't turboed or anything, so I was a little bit nervous doing it in like a little bit more expensive car with like a turbo, and it ended up being a lot of fun, and hopefully I'll get better at it as this winter goes on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to hit that like button if you wanna see more of these videos, and remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.